All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Direwolf 1.16. Guys, we did a lot off camera, well, technically on camera, in a live stream. If you guys made it over to the live stream, thank you for hanging out. That was a blast. Uh, but we made a bunch of stuff. We made the pocket storage unit tier 3 and the quantum bag. I will link the stream. Uh, technically, it's two streams down below because my internet crapped out halfway through. Uh, so if you want to go check out those streams, go ahead and check them out. Uh, links are down below. But guys, today we're getting into... Uh, Fuenomatic Craft. I'm not going to try to say it, so I'm going to call it the Steam Mod. Uh, so to start this off, uh, I actually had to go to a village. Uh, we'll go to my boys over here. Uh, and you need to locate a house that looks like this. Uh, it's got these refined... Um, Sorry, these reinforced bricks on the outside. Uh, yeah, you're going to want to go in here. Uh, go ahead, loot in here. This is where I got all my stuff. I got some compressed iron and some amazing tools. Sorry, amazing machines. And then there was a tool hanging up here. We're going to take this item frame and then maybe this. Yeah, now we have a sign. So, yeah, I had to go here, do that. Found this cool village. Got some really cool looking buildings here, but uh, not the focus of today because we're getting into this mod. Oh, and also found a, uh, uh, a pillager outpost. Yeah, that's kind of spoopy. We need to go home. Okay, so now that we're back here, uh, we need to go ahead and make some compressed iron. And the way to do that is to blow up some iron with some TNT. So we're going to go ahead and make up a few of these. So let's go ahead and blow some stuff up. I think the best place was probably be the mining dimension. All right, let's kind of go over here a little bit so we don't blow anything up important. Uh, we have no risk of blowing up anything important while we're here. So it just says to um, put some TNT down. We're going to test it with... Um, oh, I need to turn off my magnet, don't I? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to test it out with some just the, the stack of iron. All right, that should have made... Compressed ironing it, but we didn't get the full stack, as you can see, unfortunately. Um, so it looks like not all of them survive. Run for your life! All right, so now we got a little over a stack, which is perfect. We did set up the slash home command during the stream. You guys did let me know how amazing that was, and I agree with you. So now that we have this compressed iron ingots, these are kind of like our gateway into the mod. All right, so we got that. Very cool. Building materials. Yep, we can make the reinforced stone here, which I'm super excited about because I do really like the way this, this one looks. All right, so we're going to be working on a pressure chamber here. Um, this is what we need to kind of move forward. So, oh, wow, you can place it. We're going to put this outside. Okay, that's really cool. It shows you exactly what you need to do. Okay, so we need to make some pressure chamber walls here, which is good. This is actually very handy. All right, that's a pressure dispenser. We definitely need a pressure chamber interface, a valve, and a wall. So to make the wall, oh, wow, we just need the reinforced brick. That's it. Okay, let's go ahead and make some up. All right, so we got two of that. This brick looks so good, by the way. Ugh. That's what stone bricks should look like. All right, so we got a stack of the pressure chamber wall, so let's place it down. Looks like we need a 3x3 three three at the bottom. And then one here, one here. And then we also need a 3x3 three three at the top. And then that's a valve... And this is open. I don't know why. Might need to put a pressure chamber thing in there. Okay. Anyway, let's go here to the valve. Looks like we only need one. Now, I did steal a few of these uh, pressure tubes from that village, but it just takes the compressed iron and some, some glass. Um, so I didn't need to craft any of that, so we got to save some glass. Oh, you made it makes 16 valves. All right. Perfect, we got both of those. Looks like it's uh, shapeless crafting, which is okay. Place that there. Place that there. Pressure chamber glass. Okay, so it, it's not... <clears throat> 
It's not like that. Pressure chamber glass. Perfect. All right. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, my gosh. All right. So we got our pressure chamber made up. That's so cool. I'm so excited. Ooh, we can do a 4x4, four four, make it bigger. We're going to do that later. Ooh, a 5x5. Five five. Yeah, definitely going to do that. Okay, so we got the pressure chamber. All right, so we do have some pressure tubes, but how do we generate the pressure? Compressed air is produced by a class of machines called compressors. Oh, literally, you need compressors to make a compressed air. Hmm. Yeah. I'm dumb. All right, so let's go ahead and make some... Uh, do we have compressors? Flux compressor. What do you do? Converts forge energy compatible with RF and many other mods into compressed air. <gasps> Holy heck, this is what we want. We can turn our power from our reactor into pressure. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, we need to generate a little bit of pressure before then. Did I get a compressor when I was looting? I did. I did here. Okay. So let's get some t pressure tubes. I've got one. Ooh, we have advanced pressure tubes. Hmm, we're going to be using those. Okay. So let's see what this thing needs. And where do we put in the pressure? Oh, probably in the valve, right? That would make sense if I was being logical. What in the heck? Okay, so here's where the pressure connects. Right up to the valve. And then I assume that we just put like something that burns in here. Is that right? No problems. Are we generating pressure? Oh, yep, yeah, we sure are. Check it out. Pressure. We are generating some. Very, very cool. Okay. So how do we close this? Upgrades. We can make upgrades, people. Okay, so let's see about maybe making that redstone one. Uh, we're gonna start up this process here. What do you need, a turbine rotor? Ooh, turbine blade. Okay, so we need gold and redstone. Let's test this out, see if we can make a rotor. A route. Okay, how do you inject items then? Give me a second, let's check out the book. Piped in via hoppers. Okay. So let's get some hoppers going. Believe there was one for this. Okay. Um, actually, I think there are special hoppers. Yeah, this guy. Let's actually let's look at the recipe for him. Okay. So we're going to test these guys out. First, and then we'll try the normal vanilla hoppers. So we put this guy here. Oh, wow. Okay. So if I do... Pressure. Oh, yep. He's in there. Apply more pressure to the pressure chamber. The required pressure is dependent on the number of items being transported. Okay. So we need this to generate a little bit more pressure, which is okay. Uh, we can go up to five and then getting over here is when it might explode on us so we got to be careful in that's the case we just gotta like break one of the pressure cables i guess or just turn off the this guy though it wouldn't be a bad idea because i do know we, they make some valves um okay it just put in the redstone which is good Is it making anything? Okay, so it released a bunch of pressure in order to do that. So we need to get another one of these compressors going. There's a button in the GUI to allow export of all items if you need to. Yes, okay, so w we did go ahead and export out the wrong way, unfortunately. That is my bad. I didn't know it was directional. But now we do have those those things that we need, so we can go ahead and pat this guy back up. There we go. And we start generating some pressure again. Okay, so just a, a slight hiccup. No, nothing to worry about. No need to tell anyone. It is okay. Don't worry. Be happy. 
Okay, so while we're waiting for that, we do have the advanced pipes, so now we need to kind of worry about this. Well, let's have a look here. That's our next process, is getting into those guys. All right, so what I can see here, the best way to actually get the the etching thing is probably with villager trading. Um, level five, yeah, we can go ahead and automate that because we can make the charging stations now. So I do think that is probably the best way for us to get these uh, these PCBs, the printed circuit boards. Um, but we'll we'll be working on that in a little bit. We're gonna take a break from the Fuena craft here. We're gonna go ahead and disable uh, the pressure generation. We'll just let this kind of kind of air out for a second because we were getting kind of high. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys the new base area that we've been working on. Uh, we did this on stream, so I want to show you that. And we're going to put our book over here. Perfect. All right, so we're calling this place Shelter. We went ahead and cleared out this whole... There was like a big mountain here. We cleared it out on stream. It was amazing. You guys were helping me out and commenting and stuff like that. It was really cool. Uh, but yeah, this is what we went ahead and built. I haven't made any changes uh, since the stream uh, ended, and I do plan on streaming again today. Um, yeah, that guy just died. Let's take that. Yeah. So this is what we got going on. So we're going to kind of mirror this this wall kind of thing here on each side. We're also going to replace these here, whatever you see with the sky stone, with that reinforced stone brick. We're going to be replacing that uh, because I think it'll look really good. But this is what we got going on. We're going to have this kind of, uh, I guess, an octagon. Um yeah, we're going to have this kind of building here. This is going to be Turtle Tower. We're going to have some elevator blocks here in the middle. Uh, we're also going to have uh, like several floors going up and then two floors going down into the basement. Our very top floor will be for our Batania. Uh, so on stream, I will be working on this here. We're going to kind of finish this all off and then kind of start going up. I'd like to have at least five floors. Uh, the second floor, this guy up here, will be where all of our storage is. Uh, this is where you're going to like interact with... Uh, the applied energistic system and all of that. We're going to make down here. Uh, the first floor kind of look like a receptionist floor. Okay, so what we're going to do for the rest of the episode here... Getting into Batania. That's right, guys. I've decided that we need to get Batania. There are a few items in this pack that are really going to... Or, sorry, in this mod that are really going to help us out with the rest of the pack here. Uh, so we need to kind of get into the basics here um, where we kind of make everything. So... Uh, I do believe we have majority of what we need. Uh, yep, we got the Plexica. Pure Daisy, this is what we need first. Uh, so we need to make a, a Petal Apothecary. So let's go ahead and make one of those. All right, it should be simple to make. If we look here, uh, we need the, the, the dudes. Whoops, can't spell. Okay. So we got these guys. Yeah, we do have all the, the blocks we need, or the, all the flowers we need in order to, to make it. All right. Bam, Petal Apothecary. So let's go ahead and get this out there. We're also going to need an infinite water source. We're going to grab two buckets. Count them, two buckets. All right, and just so you guys know, I really did want to do more with this Fumaticraft here, uh, but I really believe that we should set up villager trading before we get into this because it'll make our lives a lot easier. Uh, so we'll be doing that next episode, just so you guys know. We'll be making a, a villager trading hall. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead. We're just going to like set this up over here. All right, so now we have the Petal Apothecary right next to an infinite water source because every time you make a flower, you have to re-put that in there, so that's good. All right, and now we need to make that pure daisy. This guy here. So, again, we just need the, the four petals, um, which is good because we have the, the white flowers, which give us the, the, the petals, and then I believe we need some seeds. Yes. All right, probably smart to leave the bucket. We need at least one. Perfect. All right, so let's go over here. Get on top of this. Yep, and there we go. Pure daisy. If you guys are wondering, I am hitting Q, like just throwing the items in. 
Um, fortunately, you can't click them in. Hold up. Yeah, see, I'm right clicking, can't do anything, but if you do throw them in, they get made up right away. All right, so we got quite a few of these guys, and I, <clears throat> I made a lot of these on purpose because I do plan on automating the process of getting the goods, as you could say. Um, so we do need some logs and some of this guy, and we're going to need some dirt because we got to make a spot for them. Perfect. So what you do here is you take logs and you put them around and then you take stone and you put them around and then you just wait a while for these guys to kind of to, to switch over to the living stone and living wood. All right, and as you can see, we got our, our stuff made up here. We got our living wood to make some good sticks and other materials. Then we got our living rock to make the uh, the, the the mana holders, which is going to be very necessary. All right. <clears throat> so now that we got those. Um, let's see, petal poth carry good to go. We need to make a wand of the forest, and this is what we needed the living wood for. So we're going to make. I believe you need three of these guys, and then to go here. We're going to make one that is cyan and green because I think it'll look pretty neat. All right, and then three sticks. And this is what it looks like. That actually looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? Good looking wand? All right, so this will let us kind of like interact with our, our, our mana stuff here. We are going to need to get some more of the oak logs going because we do need to make a few more things with it. So let me place these down. All right, and so while that is being made up here, we're going to go ahead and make a mana pool with the living rock. Bam, this is ex like what we need to store our mana that we're generating. Uh, so we're just going to put this guy probably right here. Actually, we need to put it a little bit further away because we're going to set up some, some stuff by it. So we're just actually going to put it right here and then have a few flowers over here. All right, so with that out of the way, let's look at our book here. Uh, flower pouch will be extremely handy. We do need wool. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to make this up. Do we have any wool available? We have one. Okay, do we have any string? We do not. Okay, so we're not going to be making the, the flower pouch as of right now. Uh, but that does hold all of your flowers in one spot, which is super easy. Black lotus, don't need to worry about it. Runic altar. Um, something that we need to get a little bit later. We will be getting it today. All right, so mana pool. We got this made up. We're going to be working on a mana spreader. Uh, the mana spreader's gold, a bunch of wood here, like I just made up. And it's going to take one of the, the little flower things. There we go. We're just going to make one of these guys for now. That's all we need. And then we're going to work on generating some flora, which is mana, basically. All right, we're going to be working on these endo flames because these are basically act like furnaces and turn uh, like, like blaze rods or coal into mana. Uh, so we're going to need light gray, red, and brown. Let's see here. All right, we have our light gray here. We have our red here, and then we have uh, some brown. Perfect. All right, so now I'm going to kind of go ham when it comes to these guys. Uh, so place here two brown, one light gray, one red, one seed. Endoflame. Yes. So let me make up a bunch of these, and I'll be right back. All right, so we made up nine of these endo flames. Now I don't plan on using all of those, uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and set up kind of. Well, we can set one here, one here. We want to make it look aesthetically pleasing, you know, because that's how you do things, right? So endo flames go here, um, and then we're gonna set up a mana spreader on top here. We're gonna take this in bind mode and link that here, and then we're gonna check these. Yep, these are all linked up to the mana spreader. Let's see, did that work? Yep, okay, so I need to link each of these. Perfect. All right, and then we're going to set up an automatic way of this um, generating some mana for us. So we're going to need to look at Batania here. Actually, we just need a... a, a what is it? A, we need a, a dropper here. It's super easy to make. All right, we got a dropper. So we're going to fill this up with the blaze rods. 
or the the blaze mesh here as you can see we're gonna need all right so we're actually going to minus one here just for now um going to do this here all right and so when this gets activated like so should just be like that let's test it out I believe Batania has a special block for this, and we might need to use it. Um, so let's see here. So we're going to throw this guy down on there. When it gets used, it deploys another one. When it gets used, it deploys another one. Super duper easy automated way to... Oh, boy. That didn't work right. Because it missed. Do you see that? All right, so let's try to lower this one block so we can eliminate that as much as we can. All right, so I'm going to watch it here for a little bit. I'm pretty sure we got the this down. Yep, it seems to be working a lot better. Uh, and I'm going to put a button on here as well, just in case it messes up. I can come here and just activate it one more time. So when they run out here, oops. When they run out, they will use one of the, um, one of the blaze rods. We can switch it up to the mesh. Uh, but the problem with switching it up to the mesh is they might last too long, and the they might start despawning. So I don't want to be wasting anything. Uh, but we do have a heck ton of blaze rods to do this with. So I'm just going to fill it up, and we'll let that go for a bit, and we can start using some more stuff on mana. Yep, seems to be working perfectly. So it's just waiting, waiting for one of them to use them. Uh, and then we might actually end up putting one here and one on the other side. Let's go ahead and see if that works. All right, it says it is linked already. All these guys are linked up. These are all generating mana. Very cool. We're, we're filling that up pretty quickly here. Awesome. Okay, look, it missed again because this thing is stupid. Okay, so we do actually have the ability to make a precise dropper. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to make this. All right, so this thing definitely seems to be better. I'm going to replace this with a gl uh, a block here, or a glass block, sorry, because I do believe... Nope, we could actually just leave it there. All right, so all we need to do is set up a hopper and a, a drawer behind it, and now we have automated it. All right, as you can see, that is filling up again. So this is automated. We just got to keep putting blaze rods here, and our system will keep generating mana. Very, very cool. I'm very happy that worked out. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up the episode for today. We got a little bit into Wondercraft, and we also got into Batania and automating mana production. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, guys. But this is Super Turtle, and we also made a jetpack off camera on the stream. So I'll see you all next episode, episode whatever you call it. Bye-bye.